Welcome back generals, my name is Tukriv, and this is some more Hearts of Iron 3, the World War 1 mod, playing as the German Empire. And it's April 1914, so we're months away from the war, so I won't go to speed 5 anymore. Um, just to draw it out, to hopefully let it happen at the end of an episode, instead of in the middle. Um, Dreadnought Armor Advance, very nice. Naval Engineering 14.4. Oh, that's all the Dreadnought stuff that we want, anyway. Anti-tank brigade. Oof. Well, I don't know about tanks yet, so why should I have anti-tank brigades, you know? Um, let's go for cavalry support weapons. Piercing and hard attack goes up with just anti-tank weapons. And they become slightly slower. Just slightly Oh boy, our aircraft are going to be so much more powerful very soon. The rotary engine and everything coming up. I mean, look at how few brigades the Netherlands has. We could just roll in here as well. Inefficient research. We know that it's very inefficient to research things four years ahead of time. Um, we can deploy another... Crap, wrong one. That accidentally went to the reserve force. Or, no? Oh no, I did put it in the Frederic's Marine. That I'm happy. Um, some more destroyers. Ne yeah, end of next year is when we get our four battle cruisers. Ooh, our first interceptor is done in June. Yeah, somehow this. Um, Supplies were a little bit out of whack when I reloaded the game, but we are using quite a bit, so I should just put that back up there. Yeah. It's going to take some time, but we'll get there eventually. So, we have the... What is that? Albania is mostly drifting towards us. 27.75. So close. Bulgaria, 25.13. So close! Both of them so close to joining us. Joining the party. That is the Central Powers. Feels Suddenly the games feel so slow going at speed 4, but... Yeah. I was looking at um, Hearts of Iron 4 footage from Paradox. The Every Wednesday they are doing a World War Wednesday series now. Uh, where they have, I think it was Johan and Jacob fighting each other. One playing as the UK, one as Germany. And sh speed 3 went faster than speed 4 is going for me right now. And I'm not sure if that's supposed to be the case. Or if that's just the engine being better in 4. Uh, all our aircraft are faster once they get upgraded. So this also allows us to do the inline engine. If I wanted to research that, it would be done by December of next year. I'll wait with that until next year then. Uh, more range, more defense. I think I'd like to get started on the defense stuff then. Scouts actually drop bombs, which is quite funny. Um, it's actually what the first few bombers did they threw the bombs out of the cockpit onto the battlefield that's how the first few did it so your range is 800 kilometers oh you're the zeppelin right and what do we have here that's our scout with a range of 110 kilometers i'll put you in there for now Infantry, Warfare, Advance, more organization on all our infantry. Let's get Mass Assault then. Yeah, um, that bonus on everyone. You'll see tomorrow it will go to 52 organization. Might actually be more because of officers. Hang on. Currently at 47 and it goes to 54. The officer bonus, obviously. The French seem to have more forces. Um, these are militias. 
need to start concentrating around Belgium, though. To be fair. You guys go here. Um, so the war was declared in August. So that's what we're definitely waiting on. Yeah, I feel like I need more forces over here. Single engine aircraft armament unlocked because of synchronization gear. That's August next year. Um, infantry stuff is very up to date though. I don't even have any engineers yet. But I'd still like to get assault weapons. When is light artillery done? The May 11th. That's when we actually change over our production slightly to um, f uh, build a couple of units right before the war starts. May, it takes 150 days to train. That's five months. So May until October. That takes a while. Um, build time. It's not in the perfect order, but... Yeah, 236 for the stormtroopers. Engineers, 201. Infantry, 150 days to build. Hmm. They only left an HQ in Belfort. Ooh. That's bad for them. How is the amount of divisions? Yeah, on the front... Russians also have a lot of divisions going on, actually. Then again, if you look at the strength of the Austrian forces compared to our strength, I feel like we should be in very good shape. Dun, dun, dun. We're going to redeploy to the west now. I want that cavalry army in the west. They seem to have more forces, but we don't know what else they have behind it, you know. As in, do they have a lot of... Uh, do they have their upgrades done? Do they not have their upgrades done? That's the question. And that's why I want to get Bulgaria and... 25.09 uh, and the Ottomans... 26.46. We'll get them. Both of them, actually. It'll be done. They're far enough down here. Albania. Yeah. Cool flag, though. I'll be honest. No one wants to be communist right now. Comintern has no nations. Uh, tomorrow is when we get our uh, thing done. Which means we need even more upgrades. Ah, that's gonna hurt. Allows the research of gas masks. Okay, so attrition down. I'd actually like to research that right now because that might be very important. Especially because we're the ones going to have gas already. Anyway, this allows us to build... Wow, it actually took now two more days to build the infantry. Oh, it's probably... Oh, hang on. Our infantry practical is crap too. That's not helping. Um, two infantry and an artillery brigade takes 152 days. 20 IC. Holy crap. I do want to build five of these, though. 91 manpower, too. Jesus, that's so expensive. But I'm focusing on the upgrades right now, so... At least we can get a few less consumer goods right now. Um, supplies. We use 406... Exporting supplies. This can all be stopped. Especially if we're going to be at war with the Russians ever, any minute now. Luxembourg. Eh, no. 
Greece, hmm. Serbia, just doing the supply things. Don't have enough influence to redo the deals anyway, so that would make us require less supplies at the very least. I'm going to have to put my militia in here as well. But they're not weak at all. I mean, um, let's put you in Sir Louis and put you guys in Trier. You see the cavalry just racing by now. So, strategic effects, Romanian oil fields. Ottoman Empire, ooh. Yeah, the Ottoman Empire was a in in integral part of the, um, of the central powers. 0 0.06 a day, that means, really is it going up that fast now? Yeah, which means 10, hmm. the end of the month is when they will join. And Bulgaria, how are you doing? 25.07, nearly there. Just nearly, not completely, but nearly. Um, Who are we actually influencing of the two? I think the Ottomans, right? I'm not afraid anymore of them disappearing all of a sudden. They should definitely be stuck in here. Takes a week before we can send someone new, but... Um, Romania we won't ever get, because they're just going to go up and down because of, because of the cores. We'd actually have to force them in here with a war. I think that's the only way to do that. Um, what I'm looking for is the Kingdom of Italy. And let's start influencing them. Oh yeah, they're coming our way hard now. We've stopped our influence of one and started on the other. We're getting enough. Why would we stop? Seriously, game, why? Also, transfer warfare is about to be complete. And that leaves us this one. People's army. Apparently we're not getting just enough. Um, let's just make sure we get a slightly surplus. Government of Ireland Act 1914. The Irish Third Home Rule Bill was an act passed by the Parliament of the United Kingdom intended to provide self-government for Ireland within the United Kingdom of Great Britain and Ireland. The act was the first law ever passed by the Parliament of the United Kingdom and sought to establish devolved government in any part of the United Kingdom. However, the implementation of both it and the equ equally controversial Welsh Church Act 1914 was formally postponed for a minimum of 12 months with the outbreak of the First World War. Okay, can I now start influencing Italy? It should be possible. says we need this and it's taking oh yes we are exercising our influence good um, upgrade still at 98 but more upgrades should soon be finished the infantry support weapons are about to be finished actually
One more day. One more day. It's actually dropping. Fewer supplies needed, fewer consumer goods needed. Damn. Possible invite to faction. Ottoman Empire, let's invite them. Very likely to join. The Ottoman Empire have accepted an invitation to join the Central Powers. Decision available. The Baghdad Railway. The Baghdad Railway was the only effective route to the southern part of the Ottoman Empire. The Anatolian Railway, Istanbul to Konya, had already, well, had already been built and was operated by a consortium of German companies. In 1903, the same consortium got the concession for a route from Konya to Basra for 99 years. The construction, estimated for 10 years, was stopped by political issues in the Ottoman Empire from 1904 until 1910. To obtain the consent of the British Empire to continue the construction, Baghdad was set as the end point. During the Great War, the construction went on, but due to the defeat of the German Empire, it wasn't completed until 1940. However, if you do complete the construction, you will get free oil from Mosul. So we have 50 money and 1000 metal, which we definitely do. We'll get the Baghdad Rail event. Um, yes, continue the construction. Um, oh, hello. Even more events. Um, so we spend a thousand metal and fifty money on all of them. The missing section between the stations Rasulain and Nisai Bin was 110 kilometers long. I'm just gonna do all of them. We have some metal and we're actually gaining more, so I'm not worried about that. All these sections were built and are being built. Huh. Tunnel through the Taurus Mountains. Okay. Soon we'll get Bulgaria into the uh, group as well. Denmark has quietly taken steps. Ah, leadership modifier plus 5% and supply throughput. Whoa, what the? Oh, my upgrades are done. Perfect. Or at least a load of them are done now. Poof. 61 now on production. Um, let's put you two at the top. And you five as well. Yeah. It's not good. We don't have any practical, but... You two back to the top. I'm going to delay these two now. And our leadership has gone up. I'm going to do one more extra research now. It's going to be the elastic defense. There we go. October 25th, 24th. When do I get vision, guys? Um, I have some vision, but not complete vision. Okay, um, Bulgaria, where are you? 25.03. Because of the threat that Serbia is exercising on the region. How does that make Greece feel, of all places? Probably also... Oh, they actually have the... They're allied with Serbia. Hmm... And not enough threat in the region. Romania would have probably enough threat. No, not really. 37.32. But they're going to go up and down because of the bloody cores that one of us has on him. Greece no longer aligning itself towards us. I guess they're in the middle somewhere then. Portugal is coming our way, or was coming our way. Some of these don't have enough threat on them, though. But the threat should change dramatically when the war starts. Hey, hey, hey. Looky here. And even less consumer goods needed. Every time we upgrade units, less consumer goods are needed. It's crazy. Agricultural advance, more manpower. If we started education now, it would be finished by May next year. 
I'm very, very happy to do that. Supply production, armored car brigade. Whew. The armored car brigade is coming up soon. It's still going to be very... Why are you guys behind the lines here? It's going to be a difficult war regardless. Mostly because I never built any new forces or real new forces. I got artillery in every brigade. Uh -huh. Less needed in upgrades again. Our militia has arrived here. Good. So Luxembourg will be our first target to take again. Oh, upgrades are going good now. Mostly light artillery that now needs upgrading. And the more upgrades are done every day, the better we are. But it is time to end the episode. I would like to thank you all for watching. Make sure to like this video if you enjoyed it. And subscribe to the channel if you want to keep up to date in the future. I'll see you guys later.